all right hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is jessica today we are talking about my pan that palette update and i also am going to be talking about possible next pan that palette next palette to pan <laughs> um but yeah let's go ahead and get into um pictures from last month and this month i will say i did have to repress um the shade that i wanted to repress which is uh, creole beauty so i'm gonna have three pictures up one from last month, this month, and then after repressing it, because I just repressed it, like, before shooting this video. So I'll have a picture with the updated look. Okay, yes, so definitely some progress here. I can't, I don't, didn't check the pictures to see how much of a progress there was between last month and this month but it was noticeable when I was trying to put my brush in like I could tell my br brush was starting to get damaged so that's when I was like okay it's time to get repressed um so there we go it fills the pan completely and I guess now the next thing will be re you know rehitting pan and to completion so there we go also we have this shade I am using that as inner corner I said this last time too I started to use it as inner corner I do think that it's expanding the pan a little bit that way which is good um but I'm also topping it just like in the very center because it doesn't give that huge pop with my Ofra highlighter in Beverly Hills this is a highlighter that's completely like it's in my project 50 pan and it's mixed in I had to uh combine all the shades in it so yeah there we go it is repressed we'll see how it acts now that it is repressed hopefully i can have pan in it again and hopefully it'll be a lot of pan in it again by the next month update so that will be good um i will say i also <laughs> decided i was like you know i was watching my old videos because apparently a lot of you have been watching i've been getting like little comments from people saying like oh i'm, I'm watching your old stuff which has it exciting but i was like hmm what was I saying like back in the day when I was first doing this and I basically told you about a palette that I was using to pan alongside this um as companion so it's like what I use for my transition shades and my eyebrow highlight and my deepening out my outer corner and liner and all that um and that is this Alme trio that being said I went ahead and I had a lot of pan in it and literally today um this fell into the trash because <laughs> I had like a little bit of like powder in here and so normally I don't do this normally I would just let this like sit and do its thing but I was like you know what I'm gonna show them I need to clean it up and I dumped it just like I went like that and then all the rest that was in there got dumped out which if you've seen my ranking my eyeshadows I think it was you'll see that this had like a exponential amount of pan anyways um and recently just this corner had been um taken out so really I had like maybe a third of this left which is a little frustrating because it was I actually really really like this shade so um yeah but here we go this is what I use for my brow bone highlight and then this is for deepening out slash liner shades and yeah there's the progress on this <laughs> so didn't know but there's a lot more progress now let's go ahead and talk about my hourglass face palette and then we'll talk about things moving forward what everything's gonna look like so we will do uh, pictures from last month and this month. Okay, so just steady progress as far as I know, because I, again, I haven't looked at the pictures, but I'm still using these two. They're still around. I think I have months left on this, maybe one or two more months, two more months probably at least. Um, and then same with over here, this shade is nice and almost gone again months so all that will be left is this shade and then this shade I haven't even touched uh, started to work on it so it's gonna be a little bit of time once I start working on it for me to like actually get to finishing it hopefully this will be done by the end of the year I'm crossing my fingers because that'd be so nice just to have this out of here short and sweet because I'm kind of just like working on stuff and like everything's chill and fun let's talk about for next year and thinking about my pan that palette moving forward looking at this i'm like you know i have so much more to pan and you know work on from this um especially now that i've like panned that or like repressed that and that looks like it looks like a full pan obviously we know it's not there's like you know it's pretty thin 
um, spreading the bottom. However, I still then all have all of this, but I'm using this as an inner corner highlight. So yeah, but basically what I was thinking is bringing in this IBY Beauty um, little trio as well because I already have pan on this. I had been using this as an inner corner highlight before I decided to use this as an inner corner highlight um, and I really liked it and obviously this has pan but then if I could use this as a matte transition shade that's like perfect for you know what I'm trying to do with this if I go ahead and use that and then all I have would be this gold left in this shade or in this palette as well um, I think I could go ahead and bring that in which honestly I should feel like I should just like officially bring this in Maybe I'll officially bring this in just to like start because I'm going to start using this as this um, transition shade for my transition. So I'll technically be working on three palettes, um, three little tiny palettes. That makes me nervous, but I think I can do it. Um, and then what I was thinking for after that, at the very least, I'll need to bring in like another matte after this. So what I was thinking, because I really want my eyeshadows to, or like my makeup collection to reflect my views and values um on the world and so I want to have like more diverse companies and um you know at least companies that like cater to diversity and I know that two of these companies don't I love these shadows and I love you know both of these however I want to you know kind of be able to look at my collection and be proud of it at the same time so yeah I was thinking of possibly bringing in the Tartlet and Bloom the only thing with this that I could see in the YouTuber standpoint is I hate how reflective this is in terms of like showing you progress, but it'll be fine. Um, but yeah, this one I was thinking would be nice to bring in because I feel like, you know, whatever is left of this palette, it would, you know, cater to it pretty well. There are only three shimmers. The rest are mattes. Plus, like, I have this dark shade to work at and then there's these two dark shades. I don't know. Anyways, we have a lot of mattes that I can use. And then on top of that, like these two shimmers, this one's pretty flaky. So I feel like I would use that as like an inner corner highlight and just use those two as shimmers. So I can incorporate everything and work on mattes. Or I can also bring in, I was thinking, because this has a fair amount of mattes as well, as well as like the transition shades. Like a lot of these mattes are transition shades and there's not a ton of dark shades in this palette, which I do like. Plus there's like a few like pops of color that would be fun to play with and recently like this year has been very like neutrals or like warm neutrals um that I've been panning so it would be fun and interesting to bring this in as well um or instead of one of the two so yeah let me know what you all are thinking which one I should possibly bring in um for next year slash whenever you know I get through some of this some of this and then this oh, there's just so much to do but anyways let me know what you all think thank you so much for watching um let me know how your pan that palettes are going also let me know what you all are thinking about like for panning next year have a good day bye